Yes, people, welcome back. Currently, I'm stuck inside the house because we have another lockdown here in London and uh, it's a full lockdown. No one's allowed to go out. You're only allowed out for food, medication, hospital, or if you're a key worker, you know, hospital stuff, you know, doctor, nurse, all that kind of stuff. So, I'm stuck in the house and uh, just going through the internet and uh, came across a couple of videos from uh, Watermaya. Shout out Watermaya. Titles like Life in the UK for Africans is terrible. Life in the UK for Africans is tough. Uh, someone said the UK is a dump. Because the kind of things that people were telling me, Ghana is this, Ghana is that, and what they show on the telly and stuff like that, I, I decided that I'm done with Ghana. I mean, don't get me wrong, my brother is head of Stanley Investment, Stanley Bank, and my sister and my, my, my family, all, all of them are here. But People, we, can, we cannot be afraid to travel somewhere just because of what people are telling us or the misinformation that is being given out by the, uh, the media. You have to do your research and to find out for yourself. Because this guy said, he said, it, he said it himself. As soon as he did the research, started looking at a couple of videos and came and, and, and saw for himself, he changed his mind completely. Now the thing I don't understand with this is if he's got those siblings that actually work some of them in high powered jobs why didn't he speak to them and, and, and get a, a handle on what the situation was it's it's I don't know is that is it was he being lazy yeah was it was he, he not talking to his family was he not doing research on the internet and finding videos because there's lots of videos about it Africa and modern Africa and people going over there with personal experiences so you, you, you I don't get it the infrastructure in the UK uh, it involves sophisticated road systems uh, train network buses uh, international and national airport uh, we have a good supply of electricity, water, gas and the internet. Um, we have a social security system which helps to support low income workers. So if you are on a low income, the government will help top up your wages. If you have children, they will get free school meals. Right, so coming to the UK, if you come to the UK, Depending on where you go in terms of certain cities, towns, it's easy to get a job in the UK. If you come in and you don't have the necessary qualifications, uh, skills to do a job which is at this level, then this is where you start. And a lot of people that come to the UK start at this level and then they work, them, they work themselves up. Yeah, okay, so let's look at an average uh, salary in the UK. So let's say you earn £25,000 per year. Calculations based on someone living in London because I live in London so I can give you guys a rough estimate of what the breakdown will be. So, And that's an average income. So that's not someone on the low scale because there are people that earn 12000 a year or less. And work, these are the people which are the low, low income workers. Now this doesn't apply just for Africans, this applies for everyone. Now finding property, we're talking about finding yourself somewhere to live. So it could either be a flat, it could be a house, 
again this all depends on which city or town you go to in the UK so I'm gonna focus on London because I'm based in London um, finding a property in London is quite easy if you have the money so you could have a three bedroom house and each room is occupied by a someone different that tends to be the cheapest option to go to um, if you want to go even cheaper still you would share the room with other people to keep the cost down so a room average cost we're talking about here um, would be somewhere in the range of 600 500 to 600 pounds a month education up to secondary school is free in the UK universities you have to pay to go to university but it's possible to get scholarships and uh, bursaries and so forth student loans so where you can pay that back at a later date healthcare so healthcare we have something called the national health service in the uk and it covers all hospitals clinics and local doctors appointments and it's free at the point of access so it doesn't matter how rich you are how poor you are it doesn't matter how famous you are everyone uses this one system the standards of the system that you're using can go up depending on where you live so it's a little bit of a postcode lottery but overall it's a good system it's free and you don't have to worry about healthcare right social life in the, the UK is uh, renowned throughout the whole world so social life we're talking about nightlife we're talking about theatres we're talking about uh, opera houses we're talking about ballet we're talking about contemporary arts we're talking about museums we're talking about artists but i mean you name it the uk has it in abundance the weather now the weather in the uk it's trash my final tip everyone for this is please 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 do your research there is so much misinformation out there that it's easy for you guys to get lost and uh, be misinformed do not be lazy this is a huge commitment that you're looking to enter into if you're looking to uproot yourself and go to a completely different country then you need to do your research, find out about the people, find out about the towns and the cities, find out about the cost of living, find out about the hospitals, the healthcare, the education, the price of properties. Is it easy to, to get a job or do I need to create my own job? If I'm creating my own job or my own company, or uh, is there an infrastructure which is going to allow this to run smoothly? So guys, in conclusion, is life in the UK for Africans terrible? Is it tough? Would we consider the UK a dump? Well, if you're part of the middle income group, if you're part of the upper income group, then I would say no. Okay, for, for, for people like this, remember I'm coming from, I'm talking from experience. I know lots of people in these brackets and people have built their own houses. Some of, some of them have multiple houses, travel around the world every year. Kids are, are living in good areas, so therefore their kids can go to good schools. I mean... Some are sending their kids to private schools, some of the top schools in the country. So, so when we ask, is life terrible? Is life tough? They would say, they would say no. Obviously, it's, it's, 
it's not perfect because as an African living in the West, you still are going to encounter bits of racism. People don't know your background, they don't know fully your story. So just looking at some people, you can't tell if they're rich or not. So you will still come across uh, misconceptions, you will come across typical stereotypes and therefore this is annoying and it's possible that you won't get treated equally taking all that into consideration people are still doing good for themselves okay you don't have to go the traditional routes okay lots of the people that i know that are doing well for themselves are self-employed they work for themselves and they work hard thanks for watching please subscribe and i'll see you next time i'm out